Say goodbye to Sacramento's no charge after hours parking. Starting tonight, you'll need to pay. Though plenty of meters around them are expired, this couple fed theirs anyway. I didn't see anybody getting a ticket, so I don't know if they're doing it or not. We don't want to get a ticket. What's confusing for a lot of people is that these parking signs still only say until 6 p.m., but as people are unfortunately finding out the hard way, the hours extend a bit longer than that. Can I ask you guys a quick question? Did you just have to pay for parking? Uh, no, because it's after 6. I hope. <laughs> now she is. I'm a little bummed out because sometimes we go to De Vere's for the trivia and it's nice not to have to pay after 6. Now anyone parked in the area shaded yellow needs to keep feeding the meter until 10. For those parked in the red zone, until 8. Sacramento 16th Street is one of the busiest restaurant districts in town and it's also an area that will be impacted by these new hours. This new restaurant just opened up. Let's see what the owner has to say about the changes. It's going to make people want to stay closer to their home than rather than coming out to Midtown. One group that may benefit from the new hours are valets, including Travis here. We'll probably get extra business and then especially as the arena opens up, um, people are going to be looking for alternative parking. The city is giving people a one month adjustment period where it'll be issuing warnings rather than tickets, but some feel they're being taken for a spin either way. As I know the issue. I have no idea where to go anymore or how to park or what to pay. Tickets won't actually be issued until October 1st, just in time for the Golden One Center to open and looking around, especially earlier tonight, just based on how everyone was doing with this, you can tell they're going to need all the transition time that they can get. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. You know, they